Boss, I've been meaning to tell you something. Our old friend Zero hasn't been seen in public since you left the States. That was over ten years ago now. You suspected he was responsible for the accident at your base in the Caribbean. But at that point, Zero was already bedridden. So it never felt right to me that Zero gave the order. Now that I've seen the man Emmerich was working for, I'm sure he didn't. I know that man. He was our old friend's XO. A man without a face. Not one you want to look at, anyway. Skullface. He's the one who destroyed your base nine years ago. The unit he commands, XOF, was Cypher's strike force. But he's since split from Zero and used XOF to usurp control over Cypher itself. In other words, the Cypher we're hunting isn't Zero. Beyond Zero is a void that's even darker. Skullface. Boss, this contract comes out of Angola. That's right, Central Africa, where Emirate claimed they were working on a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. There's been a massive oil spill from Mavinda oil field. It's flowing into the river and contaminating the water supply. An environmental NGO has asked us to stop the spill by destroying the facility. Environmental activism isn't exactly our line of work, but it's not that simple either. The group operating the oil facility and causing the spill is the rebel group UNITA. And word has it that UNITA is getting supplied with US military weapons. That sounds to me like Cypher's pulling their strings. Boss, it's time to give Cypher a little surprise. Caution, rain approaching. Came from Intel. The target is Angola's Mfinda oil field, upstream from the landing point. A spill has covered the whole area and crude. A pipeline that crosses the Muneni River failed, and now the shore's a mess. Not to mention the villages downstream have no drinking water. The oil runs to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight-up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mafinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. Then the rebel group UNITA moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. UNITA's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them US military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on United can tell us who's pulling its strings. Detected. The map has been updated. You've arrived at my 
across a village. It's been turned into a supply hub for Unida, meaning it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Analysis Should be a thing complete. or two that'll come in handy. Don't be shy. They deserve to be in better hands. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. It's a heavy machine gun. Packs far more power than any rifle. You can either use it yourself or destroy it. Either way, best keep in mind some way to deal with it. who've expanded into Central Africa. CFA, Rogue Coyote, and Zero Risk Security. HEC's investigations have shown there's almost no overlap between their areas of operation. It's not so much a turf war, more like they have a gentleman's agreement. If you do cross paths with them, you probably won't have to face more than one at a time. Still, don't expect to walk in the park. Field is the property of Sainer, South African Natural Resources. Sainer drills oil wells wherever they can throughout that region. When the oil dries up, they abandon the facility. Then it's only a matter of time before the aging equipment starts leaking crude. That means United's takeover is the perfect cover for Sainer. Now they can blame the spill on a bunch of oil thieves. However you look at it, Sainer's far from squeaky clean. Contract Forces of Africa. These guys are a major player. Their head office is in Pretoria, South Africa. That's also where the South African Defense Force is headquartered. We think the two are closely connected. An HEC investigation revealed that most of the CFA's operators are former SADF soldiers. South Africa has been locked in struggles with neighboring regimes for years. That means constant action. And we know better than anyone that's the best kind of training. A company drawing its recruits from hardened military vets. You can bet they know how to handle themselves. Do not underestimate them. Within the CFA is a company of soldiers made up mainly of locally hired operators. They speak Afrikaans to communicate with personnel from the CFA. But if you notice any speaking the local language, that's them. Though hired from the local population, they were originally part of a paramilitary group so they'll have plenty of combat experience. And unlike their days shooting junkyard rifles out of beat-up pickup trucks, the CFA now supplies them with the latest gear from the West. On top of that, they've been combat trained by the South African Army. All that adds up to a much stronger fighting force. So don't brush them off. Look at the Angola Zaire border region. The East Bank of the Muneni River in particular. It's a microcosm of a problem that stretches all across Africa. There's a civil war going on in Angola fought between the government MPLA and the Western-backed UNITA. Zaire is still a dictatorship under President Mobutu. Extraction arrived at the motorbase. You need to shut down the oil transfer pump and destroy the oily water separator tank. The details are on your iDroid. That's the oily water separator tank. One of the targets. Take it out.
Analysis complete. The numerous uprisings have broken out in its remote regions. With all the trouble elsewhere keeping their hands full, neither government has control over their side of the border. They depend on militias and PS, as do the rebels. Government forces, guerrillas, militants, groups of all shapes and sizes hawk whatever resources they can to hire PFs. Conflict brings PFs. PFs expand the war zone, and more conflicts erupt in a continuous chain reaction. <laughs> Sounds like our kind of work. Mother base could grow by leaps and bounds. Objectives complete, but the enemy has tightened security. Get out of there ASAP.
Rain approaching. Analysis complete. What are they doing there? Analysis complete. complete. Please select a drop point. Dispatch requested. Exfiltrated hot zone. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Boss, we took another look into Sainer, the owner of the oil field. They were behind what happened. They hired the PF. Not United. They restarted the facility all the while pretending they were the victims. One other thing. Sainer's Johannesburg head office is just a room in a multi-tenant building. Company's essentially non-existent. Three years ago, that investment fund stepped in and started gutting it through a series of mergers and sell-offs. And get this. The fund itself no longer exists either. 
It's a shell corporation, meaning someone is just using Saner's name from the shadows. But what about those strange corpses? Just what the hell were they doing over there? Hey! Snake! I've customized a walker gear just for you. It features a silent running system, great for infiltration missions, and you can also summon it to your location. I've taken the liberty of calling it the D-Walker. It's armed with a suppressed tranquilizer gun. If you want to add other weaponry or upgrade the chassis, give the order from your iDroid. Side Ops list updated. Boss, I've updated the mission, mission list. list updated. We received a new job offer. It doesn't seem connected to Cypher or Skullface at all. But if it goes well, we may get an Afrikaans interpreter. The details are on your iDroid. Please select a mission. There's a violent power struggle going on within the contract forces of Africa, the PF that ran security for the Mathinda oil field. Most of their key people are Afrikaners, but naturally for a South African organization, some of its founders are British. Details are sketchy, but apparently the Afrikaners are holding these British personnel for interrogation near Kaziba camp. We've been asked to rescue one of them, a man known as the Viscount. We don't have the Viscount's exact location, but he doesn't speak the Afrikaners' language, Afrikaans. They'll need an interpreter who speaks English in order to interrogate him. Meaning if we tail the interpreter, he'll lead us right to the target. By the way, the contract specifies that it's all right to ignore the other British prisoners. But the final decision is yours, boss. Commencing platform construction. It wasn't just Cypher. Back in the Caribbean, every eye in the world was turned on us. A private army, just a bunch of guys with guns, in possession of a nuke? Why wouldn't they be uncomfortable? And that's why you made sure the inspection happened. Well, I thought our best move was to prove to the UN, through the IAEA, that we had no nuke. Of course, I was against us having it in the first place, but that was Snake's decision. The boss wasn't responsible. Well, don't get me wrong, I, I still believed in Snake. I thought I was making the best decision for all of us, that's all. I figured we should get a third party to exonerate us before proof of the nuke did get out. And who better to do that than an organization with international authority? <laughs> so the truth is, you took it upon yeah. yourself to agree to an inspection arranged by the UN. Only the inspection was a ruse, and Cypher Strike Force XOF showed up instead. I had no idea yeah. that would happen. Enough bullshit! Oh, sure, like I could have known. You know, I was just trying to prove our innocence to the world. What's wrong with that? We're not interested in the excuses you thought up. The truth is objective. Yeah. Just see it from my point of view. You led XOF to the control tower. Whoa, they whoa, seized whoa. it, giving them complete control over the base. Moments later, they detonated C4 on the strut legs. Anyone who'd managed to survive was hunted down by the assault force and their choppers. You can't believe I did that on purpose! That was the end of Mother Base. But it wasn't the end for you. How can you... Look, think about it. I lost something too. I built Zeke and it got buried underwater. I am a victim! That raises the big questions. Why were you the only one spared? You got away without a scratch. Several high-level British CFA officials are being held by their Afrikaner colleagues. One of these prisoners is the rescue target, a guy known as the Viscount. The target's location is unknown, but they're bound to have an interpreter present when they interrogate. We've used info from the intel. That's not the target. Orders are only the Viscount gets rescued. Can't understand why he'd receive special treatment. But I don't imagine it'll be a problem to save the other prisoners too. If you're going to use a weapon, be careful not to draw the enemy's attention. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
The map has been updated. That prisoner you extracted wasn't the target, but we did get some information. Yeah. Seems the prisoners aren't held together, and the cells and interrogation rooms are separate places. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Prisoner wasn't the target either. We got some more information though. They're going to interrogate the target at night. Plant expansion complete. Anyone. The map has been updated. 
Mission engaged. Detected. The map has been updated. All right. The coast is clear. Mission complete. Boss, one of the other British prisoners filled us in about the Viscount. It turns out he's a real two-faced son of a bitch. He was planning to secure the MPLA's oil field rights for himself in exchange for swapping the CFA's alliance from the anti-government United Rebels to the state-backed MPLA. He hid this from the Afrikaners. But once he thought the jig was up, he tried to pin it on the other British personnel and take off. The Afrikaners captured him, and that was when he asked us to rescue him, and only him. I'll throw him in the brig for now, but we may have to be extra persuasive with this one. By the way, boss, we got some interesting news out of our friend the Viscount. He mentioned that more than a few PFs in the region have purchased walker gears. The CFA's the same. That's Soviet Army technology, and it's still a prototype. Only Cypher could be leaking it to the PFs. But the question is, why? Side Ops Boss, list updated. One of the latest missions to come in is what connected to the Walker mission gear. List updated. This could be our chance to close in on Cypher. Take a look at your mission list. Boss, this contract comes from the MPLA. The People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola. <laughs> Apparently, new Western bipedal weapons have been deployed to Detati Abandoned Village and are a threat to their troops. Our job is to eliminate them. The bipedal weapons they're talking about are, of course, walker gears. As I've previously reported, they're already in active service with Caution. PFs in Africa. Approaching. But don't you find it strange? Yeah. A PF employed by the yeah. West obtains a prototype developed by the Soviets, yet the Russia-backed MPLA don't know the details. Eastern weapons technology developed in Afghanistan is being supplied to the West in Africa. Only Cypher would be capable of making something like that happen. Complete. So, boss, eliminate the walker gears at Detati Abandoned Village, just like the MPLA have asked. Once you do, the PF will need to contact its supplier giving us a chance to close in on that supplier, Cypher.